Are we recording? Yes. So today I thought I'd do a little vlog about public transport. I understand tourists. You do whatever you want. Well, within reason. But people that regularly travel on the underground, you need to educate yourselves. Number one, before you've even got on the tube, you're about to go on a journey you know that you need to go through this process of tapping in. Why are people waiting to get to the barriers? They see them. Oh, there's barriers. I should get my Oyster card out. Why have you not got it out? Why are people waiting to get to the barriers? You need to be ready. Do not go in front of me if you are not ready. The obvious one, not letting people off before you get on. It's 2017, surely. We know by now, guys. Come on. You stand to the side and you let people off. You're going to get on. Maybe. 90% sure you're going to get on. So just wait. Also, when people don't leave enough space for you to get off, people stand there and they're like, I'm standing by the doors. I so I'm going to be first on. But they don't think, where are the people going to get off? Where are they going to go? And people, instead of like queuing behind me to the side, they'll just go straight through the middle. That's not okay. Come on. I've been waiting so long. Okay, I'm gonna use this as a prop. Right, let's say that this microphone stand is the pole. Instead of just like holding on like this, they'll like lean up against it. I'll have grabbed it and then someone will decide, oh, that's just, that looks like a comfy pole. This is really hard to demonstrate, but my hand is slowly getting crushed behind this person's back and I'm like oh my god my hand is crushed my hand is crushed I should just go hello can you not feel my hand but instead you just like you like move the hand I've done that before moved it and they still they don't clock on so my hands just crushed and then you finally get your hand over and then you end up putting your hand like on top of their head stupid people your bag doesn't need a seat What? Put it on your lap. Put it on the floor. Do not put that bag, do not put that bag on the seat next to you. Because I'm pretty sure there's someone standing there thinking, I'd love a seat. I'd really love a seat. There's one, but it's taken with that bitch's bag. Move your bag. So, I get the DLR a lot. There's like two seats. Um, facing forwards instead of getting on and going straight to the window seat they'll sit in the aisle seat so you can't just get in without having to say hi excuse me can you can you move so I can get in it's re really annoys me I said this to my friend once and I was like oh those people they're so selfish and she's like I do that I questioned our friendship after that conversation panickers you don't need to move until the train is like literally about to stop. And they'll be like, oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, I'm getting off. What they don't realize is the people that are all moving for them are probably getting off as well. So if you just waited to see what happened when the when the doors opened, everyone would, pro you, you wouldn't have to say anything. I travel a lot with my um, guitar and my amp for busking. Fair enough, they don't know, but <laughs> I'm telling you now, people will automatically sit like in the the one closest to the luggage bit but that means I cannot sit down now because you're in the seat that's next to my luggage if I want to sit down I need to be next to it can't leave it unsupervised can you just sit in a different seat you could sit in the middle seat and you'd still be fine it wouldn't change your life but it's going to change my journey because I now cannot sit down also the, the seat on the end it's reserved for like disabled people just don't sit in that seat and reserve it for people that need it staring stop staring at me we're all guilty of people watching i watched the girl look at me and then whisper to her friend and then they both looked at me i'm like i'm not stupid if the tube's not coming straight away you just walk down a bit in my experience people don't do that or they'll like dawdle down oh where shall i stand i'm gonna choose my perfect housemates coming downstairs probably thinks i'm going mad talking to myself like, dawdle down the platform 
choosing their like perfect spot to get on the train. They'll just stop. Ooh, this is annoying. If you hear this noise, people, beep, 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 that means do not try and get on the tube. Why do people do it? The tubes are gonna be like every minute, just wait. Do not get on the tube when the beeping is happening. I, I will never risk it. Now, St Paul's is a place that people won't get off. Oh my God. <laughs> I waited and watched like six tubes go past me. No, I counted it. I think it was like 10 in the end. Open the doors and people are just like, <laughs> good luck getting on here. But then you look and you see that people haven't moved down. If everyone just moved down, I'd get on. Move. Trains and tubes have been around for a while now. So um, I don't know if you guys know, but they, they move. So when you get on and you're gonna stand, you need to hold on, otherwise you're gonna move probably into me and I won't be happy about it. I don't understand these people. They're getting on and they're like, I'm gonna read my book. And then the train will move and they'll go <gasps> like shocked. What did you think was gonna happen? Especially if you're not in a like strong stance, you're gonna move too. So just hold on. Very annoying. You could stand anywhere on this tube. You can you can move around, you can shimmy. People with big luggage things and babies and stuff cannot. So just move out of the way for them. If you see someone and you think, oh, they've got a lot of stuff to carry, it would really help them out if you just like go, oh, do you want a hand? I think I've been offered help in the two years that I've been busking, maybe twice. A lot of accidents happen on the tube and unfortunately I've had to witness a few of those um, and it's not pretty and it could all pre be prevented if people were a little bit more patient. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I literally put this out because I've been really quiet recently. I've not been very well, so I haven't been able to busk. Next week, I am in Leeds for the entire week recording new music. Follow me on all social media things. Um, do not follow me in person because that is stalking and um, I don't want to be stalked. Thanks, bye. That's a really sad and that's a really sad that's a really sad st and that's a really sad statistic I can't say it and that is a really sad statistic statistic my lisp is getting in the way statistic that is a really sad statistic <laughs> cool